Welcome to Not Another White Box, the channel that brings you all that's cool, quirky and unusual in the caravan world. My name is Cameron and I just thought I'd come and say, uh, how many takes am I going to need to do? Why can I never do this? I can never do this. Right, here, let's do it. In the zone. My name is Cameron and I just thought I'd check in and update you with some of the amazing things that I've been up to in 2023 um, and some of the really interesting things that are coming to the channel in 2024. Our year truly got going at the NEC Caravan and Motorhome Show in February. I minced about in a selection of eye-watering jumpers to bring you up to date with the quirkiest new caravans that are available in Britain today. Highlights included the Tab 400 Metropolis, which became my most viewed reel ever on Instagram, with over 397,000 views. We also toured the Adria Action and gave it a mini review, which is one of my most popular videos on my channel this year. From one curvaceous back end to another, um, we usually start at the front of a caravan when I review one, but I think we should probably start at the back because this is the only caravan that I've ever seen that seems to have a big bum. <laughs> In March, I went on the trip of a lifetime to the Sahara Desert with Bailey of Bristol on one of their infamous endurance challenges. I can't tell you how surreal it was to be sipping Yorkshire tea from the comfort of our own caravan while watching a line of camels walk past the window. There is a really epic feature length video about this trip coming to my channel very soon. I'm in the final stages of editing now. It's my most elaborate production to date. I try hard to not be entirely useless and keep honing my skills when it comes to video editing and production. Something which came in useful in April when we got to conduct our first ever live-in test on my YouTube channel, featuring the all new Bailey Discovery D44L. It was an amazing opportunity and I gave it a thorough in-depth review. But was it not another white box approved? You'll have to watch the video to find out. <sighs> do, I, do I dare get on this? <laughs> I tell you what, I'm definitely very under that weight. Let's give it a go. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> Later that month, I found myself unexpectedly the owner of a new project, a 1964 Cheltenham Puku 4. It was an amazing barn find, which needed some TLC and we gave it a cosmetic update. The restoration took up a hefty chunk of my time this year, but we still had chance to get out and do other things. This included our first visit to Glampfest, where we first tried out a Glawning. We loved it so much that we got one for ourselves and have been happily using it all summer. By the end of June, the Cheltenham was finally ready to hit the road, which we did in style behind my faithful old 1969 Rover P6 3500. Following a weekend at the Retro Camping Club National Rally, I travelled to the pop-up Caravan and Motorhome Club site at the Bewley Estate, which is one of my favourite places to visit. In July, we hot-footed it to the other end of the country, to Northumberland, for Glampfest by Glawning, which I have to say was one of the wettest weekends I've ever been on. It was a test of my restoration skills for sure, but I'm glad to report that the Cheltenham didn't leak. Though we definitely made use of the log burner in our glawning to dry ourselves out after we got caught in a very bad storm when walking along the beach. The weather stayed poor for most of the summer, but our caravan in capers waged on. We got our second ever live-in test review, this time of the La Moncelle Liberty 440 PC. We stayed at the Caravan and Motorhome Club site at Poolsbrook Country Park and fell head over heels in love with the La Moncelle. The review turned out really great, I'm really proud of it. If you check out any video following this one, be sure to start with that one. It's time to move on to the boudoir, and in true French style, this is a really sensual place to be. It was also this month that I passed 30,000 followers on Instagram, which felt like an amazing achievement. So be sure to check out Not Another White Box over on Instagram. We flew abroad during the school holidays, but returned to England in September and again to Northumberland for the last rally of the season with the Retro Camping Club. Our little 1966 Sprite 400 got another outing, which we had a truly wonderful weekend. 
Sadly, the rover wasn't running very well, which could only be the start of my problems. In better news, I attended the first great outdoor show at the Harrogate Showground with Leeds Caravan Centre, where we got to unveil the new Bailey Pegasus Grande GT75 range, which was a fun thing to be a part of. Leeds Caravan Centre also sold the very first one at the show, so we were very pleased with that. We rounded off our caravanning year with a little weekend escape to Scarborough to a new little glamping site nestled in the grounds of a walled garden. It was a lovely little site and a relaxed weekend to slowly pack up the Cheltenham and get it ready to winterise it. But we weren't done with caravans for the year. I made a big splash at the October NEC Caravan and Motorhome show where I had the amazing honour of being one of the judges for the Caravan and Motorhome Club Design Awards. I got to attend the show three days before it opened to take part in the judging, which was just part of a three week process overall. I was really impressed by how thorough this was. It's the only industry award programme that's judged exclusively by experienced caravanners. I filmed another show tour and got to catch up with Swift about a new design concept based on the base camp, which you can find here on my channel. The NEC show led me to discover another new project caravan. Annoyingly, it's the Cheltenham that I wanted when I found the 1964 Puku. But it was so rare that I'd not even found one that had come up for sale for nearly 10 years. But through word of mouth at the show, I was put in contact with the owner of this incredibly rare 1963 Cheltenham Springbok, which of course I had to buy. It's frustrating that it's come along just as I finished the Puku restoration and we absolutely love it. But I also know that I want to do something different with the Springbok and make it truly one of a kind. So what's coming in 2024? Well, my priority for now is to fix my ailing rover. Through sheer wear and tear alone, something that I've done by putting over 30,000 miles on it during my ownership, most of that towing a vintage caravan, it's been a way over winter to have some major surgery to receive a new engine and I hope it will be back with vengeance in the spring of 2024. I also plan to continue the restoration of my 1963 Cheltenham Springbok and bring it to my YouTube channel as a new restoration series. I'm in tentative talks with a few manufacturers and dealerships about borrowing more caravans to conduct a live-in test of, and there's the small matter of two major British manufacturers celebrating their 60th anniversaries too. My From the Archive series has been really popular, which I will keep releasing throughout 2024. And of course, the aforementioned video covering the Sahara Challenge is due imminently. So let's pray for some better weather in 2024. And I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's come along for the ride with Not Another White Box. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter still refusing to call it X <laughs> but most importantly please do subscribe to the YouTube channel because your subscriptions and views really do help me to create more new content of which there is lots more to come. So here's to 2024 and I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supported me this year.